one of the most proven and very effective way to grow as a fashion designer or to get better in sewing is interning for fashion brands and fashion companies in this video today i'm going to be telling you how to apply for a fashion internship what a fashion internship is and everything you need to know about fashion internships and if you also need it if it's something you're interested in keep watching this video and don't go anywhere Back to another video welcome back to my channel my name is Lola Lua Shisi and this is my channel everything Lola where I talk about fashion lifestyle and everything in between so if that is what you're interested in you want to stick around and subscribe and for my new subscribers thank you for subscribing and welcome to the family I also have a sewing channel where I do strictly sewing tutorials Lola Lua Shisi if you are interested in like sewing tutorials how to cut and sew how to draft patterns you want to scroll down this channel and you'll see my second channel and then subscribe to stick around so in this video like the side to state i will be telling you everything you need to know about fashion internships how to apply for fashion internships what fashion internship means how it can help you if you how to know if you need um, a fashion internship role or a fashion internship job i'm doing this video because i've had lots of questions i think i had lots of questions on my video i uploaded on how to um, um upgrade how to upgrade as a fashion designer without having to attend fashion school so if you know you have not watched that video you can watch that video so you can understand this video better but yeah let's get right into the video without wasting any time let's start with what fashion internship is and what it requires what it entails and how you know you need to do fashion internship. So a fashion intern role is more like a role that requires um, assisting, it's not a major job, it's like a learning process, it's like a learning phase. And here in Nigeria, we do it a lot, especially when it comes to the fashion industry. There are a lot of people going to learn um, from some fashion houses and fashion company as an intern. So now you want to understand two things. There is paid internship and there is unpaid internship. You can get um, any of them, there's paid internship internship and there's unpaid internship but most of the time what you see is usually unpaid internship so now as a fashion intern or as a fashion design intern you can be required to sketch you can be required to sew you can be required to to do literally anything in the fashion space but what you are doing in the process is that you are learning so as an intern it goes two ways is either you become an intern without prior experience or you become an intern that already has the experience but wants to get better whichever way fashion internship or being a fashion intern is a very good way to start as a fashion designer especially when you don't really really know where you want to delve in you don't know your strength you can be an intern and then that would make you actually know which part of fashion designing is your strength which part you want to stick to and which part you'd rather leave now how do you know if you need um the fashion um, intern role how do you know if you're qualified how do you know if you're fit for it i don't think you should just wake up and um decide that you want to be a fashion intern just from anywhere so i feel like you have to um get to a stage you have to do at least the basic learning except for a few cases where some fashion houses and fashion companies don't mind getting like total beginners and you, you don't really need to have any experience or knowledge of it but it is very very rare so that's why i advise you have to at least have the basic knowledge in sewing and fashion design if you want to be an intern because if you are going to intern with a brand they are not necessarily teaching you from scratch how to pick up your scissors how to do this they are more like adding to your knowledge and what you have they are going to hone your skill they're going to make you better they're going to teach you more but then again most of the time especially here in my country Nigeria if you're trying to apply for a fashion internship then you have to have something to offer I just hope you understand what I mean now let's move to how to apply for fashion internship rule or for a fashion internship rule I want you to understand that you don't have to wait especially I think this goes like this goes without saying for everywhere but especially here in my country nigeria i get many questions like i want to get better at sewing um but how do i apply for um, the fashion internship role i want to intern with you things like that so i want you to understand that you don't need to wait to get um an advert an, an advert or a job advert from your favorite brand before you approach them to ask if you can um, apply or if you can work with them as an intern. Now, I'm not saying you should just jump into their DM and start harassing them, but there are some things you need to do, there are some things you need to put in place before you even think of applying for a fashion internship role. Now, I would like to point this out. I know it's not something most of us do, or even if we already have, have it, we don't really put in um, the necessary um, work to make it look like that. So if you're applying for the um, role of a fashion intern, I would advise that 
or if you have plans in the future or any plan at all to apply for a fashion intern, I would advise that you create a fashion um, portfolio or a sewing portfolio, basically your portfolio of who you are, what you can do, these designs you can create. So internship is all about something. You are going to a fashion brand to learn from them, but at the same time, you also need to have what you can offer. So it's just like a 50-50 thing. You are coming to uh, my fashion brand to intern for me. I'm going to teach you literally everything I can teach you. What do you have to offer me? You have to be able to let them know what you can offer them in turn for what you want to get from them. So first, you need to build your fashion portfolio. If you want um, a video on how to build a fashion, fashion portfolio, I can assist with that. But inside, you need to tell them who you are. You need to show them what you can do. You can add um, some pieces, some clothes you have made, your necessary skills, your strengths, your weaknesses. Just put it like in your portfolio so they know. That way, they know what you can do for them. And at the same time, they know which part and what and what they can do for you. I hope you understand that. The next thing we're going to talk about now is how to actually put out this application like i said already the first step you need is creating your portfolio for even if you are looking for a fashion job let's say you're not trying to get an intern you're, to try, you're trying to get you're not trying to get an internship role you're trying to get like a full-time fashion job you need your portfolio it's more like your fashion cv that's what i would call a, like a portfolio you need your fashion portfolio where you're showing them everything you can do that concerns fashion now after you have your portfolio in place what you want to do next is reach out to your favorite brands reach out to the brands you know you want to learn from don't just reach out to any brand because you're seeing what they're doing and you're like ah oh, this dress is fine reach out to a brand that you know you actually want to learn from and maybe from what you've seen from them they share the same values with you they share literally everything you stand for so you don't want to just rush into applying for um, an internship at any fashion house or any fashion company you want to take your time to study them because it will help when you're actually writing out your application some brands want to know that you have been through the journey with them some brand wants to know that you know what their brand stands for so it's good to do a little research after you have your portfolio ready it's good to do a little research about the brands you want to apply to don't just wake up and say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and just send the same message all of them copy paste copy paste copy paste and you're wondering why they are not responding to you you're wondering why you're not getting the role i want you to understand that if you are sending an application for the role of a fashion intern to different brands the mails should be personalized to them so the first and second paragraph or the first paragraph can be the same but there should be a paragraph where you are talking about them where you are talking about what you know you can learn from them where you are talking about what the brand stands for it will really help this is a point that it's really going to help so if you want to apply to a company or to your favorite brand make sure you do your research before you even think of putting out that application now the mistake I feel like most people make is that most people want to just slide into your DM and say, um, please, I want to intend for you. That's not professional. I know you may be feeling like, oh, isn't an internship, but you should at least put a level or a bit of professionalism into it. What you want to do is find your mail. Even if you're sending to their DM, make sure you make your mail as official as possible, as calculated as possible, as good. Like, let me see your mail. It should be arranged. It should be very organized let me see it and actually want to read it not that i mentioned my dm and i'm saying i'm just giving an example and i'm saying please i want to intend with you uh -huh. and what, when you are applying write out a mail write out an application mail and attach your portfolio to that mail let them know that you have attached your portfolio to that mail where your portfolio shows everything about you everything you can do when it comes to fashion design your strengths and then what you want to learn that is what i believe would be a better way and will give you like better chances at getting that role so step one make sure you have what to offer step two create your portfolio step three reach out to the brand like create your portfolio create your mail template and then start reaching out to the brands like i said make research on that brand first make your little research on the brand just little little things may go a long way tell them personally so let me give an example if you are um reaching out to a brand to learn from them maybe it does every kind of fashion piece but you know that the kind of fashion piece that makes them stand out is maybe i'm um, doing um maybe jumpsuits i'm just giving an example and you are writing to them and telling them how much you want to work with them i would advise you you can put in somewhere there where about their jumpsuit you can put in why that is what drew your attention it's going to help it may feel like it's a job but it's going to actually help you so make sure you send a personalized um, mail to them if you're sending to 10 different brands that you want to intend with them let's be a personalized don't just copy yeah copy and paste and send them we know when it is copy and paste so i think that's what you want to do so portfolio very important research very important and have what you are going to offer then reach out to these brands 
in a very official and professional way reach out to them don't wait for them to put out a job ad that they're looking for an intern most of the time some brands that you like they may just feel like they don't even need an intern and when they see that your mail that your personalized mail is what is going to move them and say okay what's the worst that could happen she has what to offer i have what to offer so come so don't sit and wait for the internship to fall on your lap or for the job to fall on your lap you pursue it and get what you want that's what i'm going to advise so if you have any questions let me know if you have any um questions and suggestions from this video that i've talked about let me know and i'm going to help out and probably do a video about it we have come to the end of this video if you found this video helpful don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to share this video to whom it may be helpful to subscribe very important <laughs> and drop a lovely comment so see you in my next video until then Keep winning.